Welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to take those 808 samples that you've just acquired and bring them into Reaper in a free stock virtual instrument so that you can play them along with the rest of your song. In addition to that, I'll also show you how to tune the 808s so that the keys that you're playing for the 808 or the notes that you're drawing in for the 808s match the same notes that would be playing from another instrument so that everything is in tune and sounds great. Now before we do anything in Reaper, you want to make sure that you have an 808 sample pack, or at least one 808 sample. There's plenty of places that you can get these. You can just Google free 808 samples. Today I'm using some 808s from a free Cymatics sample pack, so you could also check out Cymatics for that. And the first thing you want to do when you have those 808s and you have them stored in a folder that you know where to access later, you want to create a new track, give the track a name. And then if you're using an external keyboard like I am, you can go ahead and select that keyboard as the input on the track. And when it comes time to record, we'll record arm the track so that we can capture our performance on this track. Now we're going to go to inserts and we need the Resamplematic 5000. This is a sampler. This is a powerful sampler that comes free with Reaper. And this is where we're going to load our 808 samples. Okay, now we need to go and find the samples. Now you can either find them in Finder, or you can find them in your file explorer on Windows, and then drag them in here. Uh, Reaper makes it easy. It has the Media Explorer, so you can do Command-I on a Mac, or Control-Alt-X on a PC. It brings up the Media Explorer, and then you go through your hard drive or an external hard drive, and you go and find that folder where the 808s are stored. Once you find the folder, you can sample the sounds directly in the Media Explorer. So you can go ahead and click on a sound, and it'll play the sound. If you have repeat on, it will play it over and over again. And you can use the up and down arrows to go through the different sounds. And if you're sampling this against your song, like if you want to play the song and have the sample play in time with the song, just make sure you click this button here, tempo match. And then because we're matching the tempo, potentially adjusting the length of the note, there could become pitch issues. So make sure you have this clicked as well. And this is preserve pitch when changing rate. And this will allow you to just go ahead and play your song and then use the up and down arrows to listen to different 808s and see which ones mesh well with the song. The better that you find the sound up front that works well with your song, the less you're going to have to do with EQ and other types of processing later to make it sound good in a mix. Once you find the sample that you want to use, you click and drag that right into the Resamplematic 5000. And now you see the sample, the waveform of the sample is right here. Now another way to sample these is you could do this directly in Resamplematic 5000. So all of the samples are here as well. So you don't even have to use the Media Explorer beyond just grabbing the file and pulling it into Resamplematic 5000. And with Record Arm, now I'll be able to capture my performance playing on the keyboard. Okay, but there's a couple issues right now just doing this off the bat. The first one is the mode. It's pulling in the sample. So when the mode is sample, that means that this one sample will play exactly the same, same note, same pitch, everything, regardless of the key that I play on the keyboard. Let me pull up the virtual MIDI keyboard so you can see what I mean. Okay, so I just went up well over an octave on the keyboard, but the sample stayed the same. The pitch didn't change whatsoever. So to make this work for the way that we want to use it for 808 bass lines, we'll change the mode to note. So now you can see the notes are going to change as I play different notes on the keyboard. So that's step one. Step two is this isn't obeying the note off. So and what I mean by that is when I stop pressing the note, it'll continue to play the sample through the length of the sample. So if you click Obey Note Offs, the sample for the 808 will stop when you let go of the keyboard. If I press and hold the note, it will play longer. And if I just tap the note, it'll play for a very short period of time. Now we have those two things. The last thing is we want to make sure that this sample is tuned to the appropriate pitch. The best way to do this is to pull in another instrument that has a melodic sound to it that already has the correct notes mapped. And for Reaper, we'll basically go to Effects and you can pull up Resynth. Okay, this is again, another free stock synth that comes with Reaper. So it has the notes here so that when you're playing, you can hear the different pitches from that synth. And you just wanna make sure that the samples for the sampler are matching the pitch of the synth. And to do that, you can adjust this pitch right here. And each one is a semitone, so you can go ahead and shift it up, shift it down. I'll shift it way up so that we can actually hear the pitch. 
Yeah, it's a little too high. So you can tell that the notes are clashing right now. So there's two different notes playing, even though I'm playing just one key on the keyboard. So you're just going to click and drag this up or down if it makes it easier for you to hear, so that you can hear that the pitch of the 808 matches that of the recent. So now the note matches. So now when I play a C on my keyboard, I'm actually getting a C as the pitch for my 808. Okay, so now that we did that, we can take out this synth altogether, and our 808s are gonna be in tune. And let's bring that down so it sounds like an actual 808. And once you have that, you're ready to go. Play along with your song, playing the same notes with the song. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can just select an area and click Insert New MIDI Item. Double click and you can draw in your notes here. Even better is if you already have a melodic line or you already have chords, for example, then you can just go in and take the bass notes from those chords. All right, so I just clicked and dragged, Command C to copy, open the MIDI item for the 808, Command V to paste, and now it has the, at least the bass notes, and then you can play off of these to create a nice pattern. And that's all there is to it. Anytime you change the sample, you just want to double check that you fix the tuning. Thanks again for joining the Ultimate Mixdown. I really hope this cleared things up for you. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Be sure to share it with your friends. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Always look in the description below. We're always switching up some freebies. I'll be bringing out some more Reaper freebies, some more Pro Tools freebies. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for joining the Ultimate Mixdown. Can't wait to see you in the next one.